any weather is good golf weather no matter what. You can't necessarily say the same for baseball, but however, the Tigers, they did get a win yesterday. Tarek Skubal was dominant, as he always is. They lost two out of, th out of three at home to Milwaukee, who themselves are a division leader. And now, at June 10th, they sit two games out of the final wild card spot. So, Sam Stick Day. Yep. What are your yep. overall thoughts on the weekend with the Tigers, <laughs> the season? It's uh, it's pretty much an open forum. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to go real hard here. Go for it. Eh. Ah. that's. I mean, that's eh. that's, yeah. that's what the Tigers see. That's what yeah. a 500 baseball gotcha. team is. They're, eh. I'm not overly interested. I'm not overly disappointed. We knew what they were going to be coming into the season, and they've, they've lived up to everything we thought the Tigers were going to be. We knew they were just going to be about a 500 team. What we didn't expect was this division actually having a pulse. <laughs> and yeah. that kind of makes them look worse than what I think people want them to be. But at the end of the day, they're a 500 team. We knew this coming in. If they s exceed past that, I think everybody will be happy. If they fall below it, I think everybody will just – that's why uh, everybody's just lukewarm on the Tigers. I don't know anybody that's just hell-bent on being a Tigers fan right now, especially – and I didn't know it was going to affect me this month that they're not on Bally. Like, uh, honestly, yeah, it, yeah. it has affected how much Tigers baseball I consume. Because I used to just throw it on. when mm -hmm. That's what baseball is. Throw it on the radio when you're in the backyard. Throw it on on the TV when you're doing stuff around the house. Just absorb the game while it's going on over the course of three hours. I don't get that opportunity anymore. And when I'm scrolling, I'll see the Tigers on Bally still. They still list them on there. <laughs> and I'll click on it and nothing. So I, I, I really haven't been able to become the fan of this team that I want to be. And I guess I need to put in that extra effort if I really want to be it, yeah. but not if they're, eh. Yeah, you do have to put in that extra effort, and that's, I mean, there's a lot of people like you out there who, yeah. I mean, especially. And I'm a baseball right, fan. Right, I was right. one of the pure baseball yeah. fans left in Woodward Sports. It yeah. was like me and Maz. <laughs> but I'm just, I don't know. Nothing about this excites me, and I think maybe coming off a of Lions season like we did where it was just yeah. like, it was like, doing drugs every <laughs> Sunday, just, like, feeling, like, yeah. amazing on top of the world. And this is just, like, the crash, you know? This is, like, oh, okay, uh, these drugs aren't as strong. Yeah, I mean, even for the Red Wings season, there were there were moments where they were firmly in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and then they had that big crash, and then they had that run at the end where they won their last three, but it didn't matter. It was just always highs and lows. And with the Tigers, there is kind of a lukewarm sort of baseline feeling to them, given the fact that they never really seem to go – two or three games above 500 or two or three below. Spend Mo Rex, are you more excited about the win and Tarek Skubal, or are you more disappointed that they lost the series? No, I think you got to look at the win. and But I am with Stick. Like, I haven't been able to watch the games, really, because they're not on, you know, I got uh, Xfinity, so I don't get to see them on Bally. But I'll go the extra mile sometimes. I'll, you know, yarr, I'll, gra I'll grab a stream <laughs> off of the Internet. But, uh you love what Scoobles doing, man. He is the front runner for the Cy Young, and it's not even close. He is the best pitcher in baseball, and he has been. I saw like in his last 18 starts, he's allowed 19 earned runs or something like that. Just, just an insane, insane tour. When do you think his limit is, and he just gets fed up for playing with this ball club? I don't know. Like, I don't, when does he start getting antsy? I think. I think he's fine. I, I they're they're <laughs> they're producing for him. They give him run yeah. support, and he wins his games. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to be on the team right now. And like you said, they are a 500 ball club. The only reason it's worse than we thought is because the Indians had the hottest start in right. the history of, of you know f the franchise. The Royals have Bobby Wood Jr., who's going absolutely bananas, and Salvador Perez is still the best catcher in baseball. So it's uh it, it's tough to kind of stomach that they're two games out of the wild card while they're playing pretty decent. But uh, you got to take it up for what it is. And even though I can't watch them every day, I'll go to a bar. I'll find a stream online. I'll do what I can to ingest the Tigers because I do miss baseball. And I, I watched a lot of college baseball this weekend. Like, that Clemson-Florida game last night was absolutely insane. College yeah. baseball. Yeah. The college World Series. Is like, all, like, in my baseball rankings and f as far as World Series goes, it goes Major League, College, Little League, World Series. Yeah. Like, I will I, – Little League to me is the top echelon. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> you, say, what, you don't you don't like purity, Sam? I don't, you don't like, like purity. I don't like watching twelve year olds play baseball. <laughs> I like talented guys. I like talented you, players. You're telling me they're not talented. 
You're Most telling people, me those kids aren't talented. Well, they're not as talented as a Major League Baseball, where literally all of them they, are on a Major League roster. Literally all of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go, going out to watch uh, Torkelson this year has been epic. No. Oh, yeah. I'd rather watch <laughs> Torkelson than a six-year-old or a 12-year-old who can bat 750 and hits the ball, throws 65 miles an hour from 56 feet away. Like, those kids are amazing. Don't you ever slander, ever slander Little League Baseball around me. It is the top echelon of baseball. It, it's where ba- baseball peaks when you're 12 years old. You brought up kids. You brought up Torque. Well played, sir. Yeah, thank you. Well played. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, ca- I can't even say anything oh, about no, that. Javi yeah, no, Javi no, Baez. Yeah, Javi Baez, yeah. Fun. You would rather watch Javi Baez than champ- world-class 12-year-olds. I would rather watch my cat play baseball than Javi <laughs> Baez. <laughs> And, and everybody should feel that uh, same way. And, uh, and uh, speaking speaking of which, Chuck Brewer brings up something that it's not as relevant now after the last couple of starts, but this season it's crazy the difference they have because Tarek Skubal has actually been supported most mostly. Talking about Reese Olsen. Reese Olsen is basically putting up the same numbers, but his record is terrible. Yeah. And Reese Olsen did have a horrible start this, this uh, series, and he had kind of a subpar one last one, which has inflated his ERA. However... This series actually made me mad, and I'll tell you why. Because it is the perfect microcosm of this season o- season overall. Tarek Skubal was absolutely brilliant. He's the best pitcher. He's the best pitcher that currently walks this earth. I don't even know if there's any debate about that. 8-1, and one, 192 ERA, gave you 6-2 and two thirds, one earned run, 10 strikeouts. The Tigers are 10-3 and three in games in which he starts. He's one of those guys where he goes to the mound, you think you're going to win. You're always going to have the better starting pitcher. That's nice. It is and really if nice. if could just make the playoffs, you know how I much know. that sets them up to pitch that guy twice in a series? I know, uh, I know. The problem is Reese uh, Olsen. Lefty, lefty's up. Hey, lefty's up. Uh, there's a lefty. We got to watch out. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, he came out with an iron. You know when a guy ah. tees off with an iron and everybody else is hitting driver? You know that guy plays golf. Oh, yeah. He's good. He's a good golfer. Or he can't hit his driver. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah. he's experienced enough to know he can't hit yes. his driver. Yes, so, like, that's true. He said, I'm going to keep this I'm going to get distracted all day, Flannel Sam. I'm no, sorry. No. There's so much going on. It's okay. We're at beautiful Oakland. Like, I'm looking at the video right now on YouTube. I'm seeing the background behind us. Like, how <laughs> lush yeah. and awesome does this look? Yeah, if uh, uh, if Tom Izzo walks by, you guys might not hear from me for a little while. <laughs> That's my guy. Oh, <laughs> We'll hear something. <laughs> yeah, you'll, 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 you'll definitely hear something. <laughs> That's my, that is my guy. Love no. Tom Izzo. No, that is that is 100% true. But uh, anyway, I was saying that Tarek Skubal is obviously the leading Cy Young candidate in the American League. I don't think anybody would dispute that. However, for the vast majority of this season, Reese Olsen has put up very similar numbers. And even after that horrific start that he just had, he's putting up an ERA of 343, which is perfectly respectable. We would have taken it from him this year if, if it would have been guaranteed. However, the Tigers are 2-10 in 10 when Reese Olsen starts. Bartolo Colon won a Cy Young with a 348 ERA. Hey, 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 hey. You don't talk about Bartolo Colon. I'm not talking about <laughs> Bartolo Colon. We don't fat Colon. shame on this. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm not fat shaming. <laughs> I'm talking no human being should win a Cy Young with a 348 ERA anyway. But my point is that you can win a Cy Young with a 348 ERA, or you could be Reese Olsen on this year's Tigers and the team be 2-10 and 10 in your starts. If anybody should want off this team, it's Reese Olsen. And you know what else? Javi Baez. He now has a sparkling OPS of 456. Oh, and he yeah. only he only played in two out of the three games. Only. Big deal, right? But for some reason, and I just looked this up last night, every single start that Reese Olsen has made, Javi Baez has been in the lineup. How can you look that man Reese Olsen in the eye and continue to put Javi Baez out there? How can you put Javi Baez out there when you're only two games out of a wild card spot? You saw what happened when he wasn't in the lineup yesterday. I understand on its own that Zach McKinstry replacing him isn't going to make that can big I play of a devil's difference. Advocate? Go ahead. They're two games out of wild spot while playing Javi Baez at his worst. Imagine if he g- plays halfway decent. He's not going to play halfway but decent. But what if he does, Sam? They're this bad with him playing bad. If he plays good and you stay the course with this man, because stay the course is he is his ceiling higher than anybody else <laughs> at that position? No. Probably no. Not his ceiling. No. no, him at his best is oh better than anybody else they got in that position at their best. So you keep rolling it out there, man. You want. Just keep doing it. Imagine if they finish the season two games out of a wild card spot and Javi Baez plays. But imagine if they get to the wild card 
and Javi Baez has played the whole time, and then he gets on a heater and he becomes the oh, hero. Oh, he's going to get on a heater and become a Listen, hero. if we can hypothesize negative, we can hypothesize positive. It's not this a hypothesis. It works. It's not a hypothesis. Javi Baez is having statistically the worst season in MLB history as an everyday player. 456 is a morbidly bad OPS. And the team is still 500 with that. Imagine what they'd be if he was just on the bench, if That's, anybody was there. But if imagine anybody. what he'd be if he improves, and you got to stick with him, man. You can't You, you want to stick up. with him? I don't want to, but we financially committed. You know, So like, what? Chris, so what? Chris Illich should, send him, should put him on a cannon and launch him to space. <laughs> DFA this MFR. A lot of money. That'd for be a, a big cannon. Yeah, it would be a big cannon. But get him. oh my goodness. <laughs> defensively, defensively though, he's strong. Great tagger. No, but he cares. Oh, oh my god, elite. Who oh, gives <laughs> elite? For the record, I don't think his defense is as bad as some people say. However, who gives a damn? Best base runner on the team. Flo. Who gives a damn? Hasn't got caught stealing once. Four fifty six OPS. <laughs> That's my trump card, and that will always be my trump card. <laughs> Just imagine if this man was off the team. Just imagine if he wasn't in this, infecting this lineup every single day. But who are you replacing him with right now? Honestly, they're, they're not doing much better. You know what? Zach McKinstry has a 100-point higher OPS than Javi Baez. If you want to laugh at Zach McKinstry, do it at your own risk. And, I don't, and I'm not <laughs> saying that's the perfect answer. <laughs> Bring up Ryan Kreidler. Freaking sign Kevin Biggio. That's what I want them to do. Just got DFA'd by the Blue Jays, by the way. We're going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow on Wake Up Woodward. But still... Javi Baez being out there every single day. And I get it. He had the day off yesterday. I just, if I'm Reese Olsen, I'm upset. I'm upset that every single time, almost every single time I've had a good outing, it gets ruined. It gets absolutely blown by a lineup that every single day has the worst everyday player in Major League Baseball out there. Yeah, but I I mean, we're to the point of, we're just bitching about it to bitch about it. It is what it is. You got to accept this. I'm not accepting accept it. Accept it. I'm not accepting it. He's running out there. They're not going to give up on him. I was shocked that they actually sent Torkelson down because we know Torkelson can hit pitching below the major league level. Mm-hmm. And he, what's he doing? He's crushing it down there. But that doesn't matter when you get up to the major league level. Well, that's, I mean, Spencer Torkelson deserved to be sent down. His OPS was like 597. Oh, I know, I know. It's, but I'm shocked they did that, though, honestly. Like, a couple of these moves that they're making, and like trotting him out there every day, not sending Torkelson down earlier and kind of holding on to that and playing the game that, oh, no, we got to keep him by us. It doesn't help us to send him down. It doesn't, and then all of a sudden they send him down. It's like, come on, just, just speak to us like men. Uh, let, let us know. You know what, Stick? You are actually the microcosm of why Detroit is not a good baseball town. Oh my They're God. not a good baseball town. All right. He's blaming there. you. Uh, all right there, Flannel Valenny. Hey, I'm just saying, we are okay with Javi Baez being out there every single day. No one's okay day. with it. There's no outrage. That's why I'm going to use my platform to be outraged every single time that I can. It's 456. But, but what's your outrage doing? How's it fixing the problem? All it's doing is giving you a heart attack. I don't care. It's the only thing it's doing. Flannel's definitely going to have a heart attack at some point. But in uh, what do you mean a, a crappy baseball town? When this team puts a winner on the field, that Comerica Park was sold out 81 times a year. I know. Over 2 million people through those damn doors. 40,000 people a night. When when you put a winner in front of this town, Great. it is a damn good baseball. And the fact that they even put people in the stands now at 500 should show you that this is a damn good baseball town. It's not. But you know what this town isn't? This, this town isn't stupid. It oh doesn't go out and support losers all the time. It'll, it'll step away a little bit. I'm not saying we should support this team. And for the record, they're not terrible. They're in it. Right. My point is that they would be it would help them if they were to DFA Javi Baez. Why can't we why can't we demand that? Why can't every single time that man steps up to the plate, we say, "Boo, you bitch ass bum, you suck." <laughs> Boo! You can Boo! do it. You and can I do will. it, but it changes nothing. <laughs> Because nobody you cares. Really think AJ Hitch is sitting there like, oh man, that doing the flannel really doesn't like Javi. I you know what we are? You know <laughs> what we you are? Think it gives a damn. It's not outrage. It's apathy. I'm trying to shock us out of the apathy. This man has a 456 OPS. I will never stop. That is that if if the season ended today, it would be the worst OPS in MLB. Oh, I know. History. Yeah, no. Contract to productivity. He is the worst player of all time ever <laughs> yes. in Major League okay. Baseball. Yeah. I will admit that. But what I'll also admit is there's only up from here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> ah. that's, that's it. That's all I got. Hey, all I know is that if if this team misses the playoffs and Javi Baez Right now, he's tied for fifth on the team in at-bats. If that continues, 
that's just that's a crime against humanity. I mean, how do you get out of a slump though? It's just like shooters shoot. How are you going to swing? He's been in a three-year slump. And yeah. the worst part is he was the worst player in everyday baseball, everyday player in baseball last year. His OPS is like 130 points lower this year. That's impossible. But Javi Miggy ba- was in good shape. <laughs> Miggy was not in good shape this last <laughs> few years. Uh, we, 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 we've had Final, a- have you seen how he steals second base, though? Steals doesn't mean dick to me. It's, <laughs> and he can't steal Tell Ricky first. Ricky Henderson that. Yeah. Hey, hey. But when, when, when you're Javi Baez, it, it doesn't matter because... Yeah, you got to get on base to steal him. You do got to get on base to steal him. <laughs>